Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Gigantopithecus vs Nandong Tiger. Who would win in a fight? The Gigantopithecus was one of the biggest giants in ancient times that can give a tough challenge to Tiger. The term Gigantopithecus was depicted from the ancient Greek word Gigas mean giant and Pithecus mean ape, that is a giant ape. This is an extinct genus of ape that existed from roughly 1 million years to as recently as 300,000 years ago. The fossil record suggests that the Gigantopithecus blakey species were the largest species of apes that ever lived. The only known fossil of Gigantopithecus blakey are a few teeth and mandibles found in cave sites in Southeast Asia. And it is believed that Gigantopithecus was more closer to orangutans than gorillas. On the other hand, the largest and strongest tiger subspecies of all time was a true monster. The Nandong tiger Panthera tigris soloensis was the largest extinct subspecies of tiger that lived around 1,95,000 years ago in the Sunderland region of Indonesia during the first half of the Pleistocene epoch. Sunderland, Indonesia and other areas of Southeast Asia are the range of this large cat. Fossil evidence is how we know about this tiger. Their name is in reference to Nandong village where their remains were found. Range and Habitat Gigantopithecus blackie was lived during the Pleistocene epoch about 2.6 million years ago in southern China. This giant gorilla-like beast ruled the tropical forest of southern China and parts of Southeast Asia for 2 to 3 million years. The first specimens were found by the German-Dutch paleontologist Ralph von Koningswald in Chinese drugstores between 1935 and 1939 where they were known as dragon's teeth. Though the teeth was large, but it has a few similarities to human's teeth. And this led some paleomorphologists to speculate that humans might have had giant ancestor. Later, discoveries of complete mandible demonstrated that they were from extinct apes. Gigantopithecus blakey likely lived in forested habitats because it possessed powerful grinding and chewing teeth for processing leaves, bamboo shoots and other plants. The remains of Gigantopithecus blakey have been largely excavated from caves in southern China, Vietnam and Thailand which suggests to some paleontologists that the species was restricted to that region. The Nandong tiger was a prehistoric subspecies of tiger that lived in Java and Indonesia during the Pleistocene epoch. As an extinct subspecies, the Nandong tiger is no longer found in the wild and does not have a current range or habitat distribution. During the time that the Nandong tiger lived, the habitat of Java was likely a mix of forest, grasslands and wetlands. Size and Weight Based on the fossil evidence, it is believed that Adult male Gigantopithecus blakey stood about 3 meter 
9.8 feet tall and weigh as much as 500 kg, making this species 2 to 3 times heavier than modern gorillas and nearly 5 times heavier than the orangutan. Large males may have had a arm span of over 12 feet 3.6 meter. Older estimates puts this ape at 500 kg but more recent studies reveal that this ape was not so huge. They can only grow up to 600 pounds that is 270 kg. However, it is impossible to obtain a reliable body mass estimate without more complete remains. The Nandong tiger was the largest subspecies of tiger. The body weight of this predator can reach up to 350 to 400 kg. This giant tiger can grow up to 13.5 feet long from head to tail. It could have measure in excess of 4 feet tall at the shoulder. In 2007, Heltler and Bolmar estimated that a large male could potentially weigh up to 470 kg, heavier than the Bengal and Siberian tiger. That means in terms of size and weight, the Gigantopithecus and Nandong tiger was more or less equal. Speed we don't have any accurate information about the speed of Gigantopithecus, but due to its heavy weight and large size, he couldn't run faster. According to experts, Gigantopithecus could run at a speed of about 32 km per hour. On the other hand, the average speed of Nandong tiger was approx 40 km per hour, but I am not 100% sure about speed. Agility and Stamina Though Gigantopithecus was the largest of all the apes, but it also had some disadvantages. Due to being very large in size, its agility and stamina was very poor. But on the other hand, tigers are still highly agile animals, especially when chasing their prey or engaging in combat with other animals. Bite Force Though Gigantopithecus was 10 feet tall and weigh 1000 pounds, but we must keep in mind that Gigantopithecus was a herbivore. Its bite force is still unknown, but I think it was around 900 to 1000 psi. While there is no exact bite force of Nandong tiger, but it could be estimated around 1350 pounds per square inch. IQ Level this gigantic ape were much intelligent and clever than any tigers. So this round will go in favor of Gigantopithecus. Fight So friends, now we move into the fighting rounds. Many people argue that this comparison will going to be a mismatch because Gigantopithecus was more larger than tigers. But friends, this battle will be not a mismatch, because gorillas do have natural predator, and that is leopards, that can hunt silverback gorillas, but they mostly prefer to hunt the sick, juvenile and old specimen. If this is a mismatch, is a mismatch in favor of the tiger in all honesty. Moreover, this giant ape lacks the hunting and fighting experience and they was almost blind at night. 
plus their skin was fragile which will not be able to withstand the sharp claws of a tiger. Many days before the size of the Gigantopithecus was estimated around 1000 pounds on the basis of few fossils of mandibles. But more recent studies reveal that this ape was not so huge. They can only grown up to 600 pounds. That means this ape was not bigger than a monstrous Dandong tiger which weigh up to 900 pounds. If lepers can hunt gorillas twice their size, then surely a tiger could hunt an ape that's only 600 pounds bigger with no weapons. Also, Gigantopithecus was closest relatives to orangutans, so you'd have to use orangutans to determine how they would behave. Modern orangutans are rather docile and slow creatures, so I would be surprised if the ape even managed to land a single punch on the tiger. So honestly, in conclusion, I think Nandong Tiger will easily manage to win this battle. And so the tiger has more than 70% chances to win this battle against Gigantopithecus. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share.